facing some issues with Gcam on our devices which is running Android 13 and with latest security update uh, so we have that same thing in that custom ROM which is project place 2.5 official one and we have good news and bad news both simultaneously in that custom ROM uh, because we can use Gcam in that ROM and we can face some issues with that too uh, though we have issues but if we neglect that thing this is gonna be the perfect one for now so let's get started with the Gcam here is the Gcam I already installed and tried uh, this is the project blaze one uh, which only the ROM right now which support latest security update and supporting the gcam right now and it's working but you can face freezing issues sometime but remember one thing when you will face that issue just get back and just clear the recent and open your gcam again and it will be okay and now you guys can see i'm facing the issue now it's in black screen and it will not work right now everything got stuck like camera is not working right now just get back and clear the data from recent and then open your camera and definitely it should work if it still doesn't work just do like this swipe left or right and then get back and clear it and then open and now it's working fine and this time you can take uh, photos Sometimes you guys can get stuck issues on portrait side, night side, and also camera side, but single. Let me click on photo and it's clicking right now. You guys can see, so it's working. And you guys can also uh, go on more setting and you guys can customize as you like. So, this is another one, another GCAM I tried, and this is 8.6, very latest, and this is also working and it's cool i will do the review because this is the fastest gcam right now and it's stable very stable and it's working on almost every devices so i will provide another review for that one so that part for gcam so gcam part already done now let's begin with the full review of project place 2.5 official one and this is amazing because first time we are getting lineage os kernel with this one previously we had the since perf kernel right now we have that lineage os kernel so that's why definitely we will get more smoothness and i found it and i practically found it so that's why i recommend definitely you guys should try this and android security update which is february 5 very latest one and kernel finally we have 4.9 latest one which is lineage OS plus and c linux status is enforcing in android 13 i don't want to waste your time by showing the other things uh, we have uh, two items like settings you guys can select older one and the newer one and this is the new ui user interface for project plays but rise droid we have huge customization but in that one we don't have huge customization but which we have which is perfectly working and perfect we don't need more than that here we have the gesture option system navigation as usual and we have this customization pill length can be customized and i already did and 100 mode and other things are perfectly working and then let me show you the security option which is uh, face unlock and fingerprint and app lock as usual everything is present in that custom ROM so move on to the battery section we have the user interface just like as before and here is the full users battery users you can see here then we have the privacy app sound and vibration as usual there is nothing new and in display settings as usual the regular customizations now let's talk about the blaze house which is a really really cool setting user style that means settings style you guys can select old ui and new ui i'm right now using the new ui which is just like this every time you will get uh, one greetings when you open the uh, settings so that's it now let me show you the project place customization uh, then we have the body and font 
use collections are there you guys can select any font you want to and icon pack as usual we we have you guys already know about that uh, wi-fi icons and icon shapes can be changed and then we have the status bar item battery style and i'm already using this one battery percentage uh, the regular customization which we need actually and traffic indicator here is the traffic indicator and perfectly working i don't have a uh, wi-fi connection right now here so that's why i can show you but i already checked it and i'm using for uh last uh, three four days maybe this uh three days maybe uh this room so this is good and i found right now the best one because uh this one comes with vanilla build this is not hgf's build so we have the choice to use g apps so i always recommend to you guys uh nick gaps score always use nick gaps score so that you guys can get better performance and if you have 2gb ram device then of course you can try this project place right now but i always uh, don't recommend to use any android 13 for 2gb ram devices but this one you guys can try then we have the QS panel customization, brightness slider position, and QS style shape can be changed. Round, rounded rectangle and round, round for active tiles, just like this. And QS transparency can be changed as usual. And data uses just like this. And project plays only the ROM, which comes with uh, not Android 13 look or not Android 12 look of control center. This one comes with the older version type and which is really really cool and uh, people always like this and reticker vibrate on touch then we have the ripple effect if you need ripple effect when you just unlock the device uh, and if you don't need then turn this off then we have the pulse and other settings as usual the regular customizations three finger gesture and ignore window secure flags which is really important things if you want to use this feature of course you can do that and un unlock higher fps in games and unlimited google photos stories as we have right now the lineage os kernel so of course you guys will get better performance playback control and volume wake as usual all these are the things and this is the setting user interface and this is really really cool and i'm using right now a custom font sorry not custom font this is custom icon pack so which is delta let me show you icons you guys can download any icons from play store and you guys can use it and by default you guys will get that icon pack let me show you default icon pack is look like this this is the default icon pack and you guys will get this and its smoothness will be more more so this is really cool if you use custom icon pack you will get a bit delay but if you use the default icon pack you will get the butter smooth experience i guess and here we have the home screen double tap to sleep and wallpaper zooming if you don't need then of course you guys can disable this thing and themed icons as usual you guys also can select that one and app drawer customization as usual icon levels in drawer and app search bar which you need and background opacity and recents memory info is here let me show you here let me show you that 907 mb available in 3gb that's not important thing but the real life performance is really really cool then we have the miscellaneous as usual you can restart the launcher from here if you face any issues and background blur depth can be customized and this is background blur depth you guys can see these are the things and the smoothness are mind-blowing just just mind-blowing and let me th show you the CPU throttling I ran it for second time for the first time when I flash it and just since uh, recently uh, tried then I got 73% then I got it 80% and if I try right now I, I will get it more than that and safety net is passed by default though I already rooted my device with magisk here you guys can see you guys will get better performance and i found one bug which is calendar application default calendar application is not opening or it's always keeps it stopping and it will not work so that's why I go to play store and download the uh, calendar which is google calendar and you guys can e easily use this one this is the thing and of course we have the widget section you guys can try this and then uh, we have wallpaper and style as usual the regular things and i don't want to waste your time 
here we have all the settings uh, by default you guys will get all this customization that means in control center you guys can easily select and here we have the scan QR code also you guys can do that so I hope you guys understand the video and if you like my work then do subscribe and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching